Whoa, guys, I want y'all to see something. Look at this. Whoa. Look at the, the, the stuff it's leaving behind. This pan likely, or this transmission likely has never been serviced, guys. I mean, it's seeing for a trans problem. Now, hardly any fluid came out, guys. Wow, look at that. Hardly any fluid came out simply because it has no fluid in it. It's got a leak, guys. Uh, this is leaking from the condenser. I already wrote that up. Uh, I gave an estimate on that, and I gave an estimate. I always tend to do a trans service when I do an estimate on uh, a transmission problem, okay? Even though it's not directly related to the physical transmission okay i tend i love doing service not flush guys the service i can get in and get this filth out and look what i see when i drop this pan this is nasty stuff hopefully they'll be all right guys uh this is a nag one transmission guys every sixty thousand miles i highly suggest you get in there it's not even red transmission fluid is supposed to be red okay let's get this filth out i got a whole new uh kit over there for this but I gotta go in and put a condenser in. Remember, watch this video right here, guys. I already discussed this repair on how your AC can inadvertently affect your transmission operation. Okay, the problem is the, the cooler, transmission cooler on every, just about every transmission. That's gonna be a, they need a way to keep the cooler, uh, keep the transmission cool. So they will, they will direct the fluid. Here you go, the cooler lines. They will direct the fluid to the front or the radiators that um in this case it's not going to an external cooler it's going to uh to the condenser the cooler is integrated in the ac condenser so in order to fix the leak i have to replace the ac condenser like i say watch that video i discussed that a lot of people have a hard time understanding how there's nothing wrong with my ac though uh it's your condenser which has the transmission cooler integrated in it but I'm just, man, guys, we got to do better, guys. Okay, this Nag 1, these torque converters are already not, um, not that high quality. I mean, they come apart like any torque converter over time. But I'm hoping I didn't open a can of worm. That's why the saying goes, guys. This is saying, I'm not too fond of it. But <laughs> if you have never changed your transmission fluid, don't do it because you're going to cause it to fail. I don't know, man. We have to have a whole debate on that. Uh, a bunch of transmission guys need to get together and discuss that and have a debate on that. Because I don't know about that one. All right? My, I have a difference of opinion on how I think you should go about it. If you have never, just say you buy a car with 200,000 miles and the pan has never been off. You never change the filter or change the fluid. Should you go ahead and do a trans service? That's the debate part, okay? Uh, yes, stop it. You people, everybody out there that has not doing your transmission services. Guys, I'm not uh, flush. Oh, my goodness. I'm not a big fan of flushes. I think because I'm a transmission guy and I understand what goes on or what could easily happen when debris or trash, you know, a filter do its job. <laughs> the filter has a job, guys. Its job is to filter out the trash before it can make it back to the pump. Remember guys, this is where this filter goes, all right? Right there. So it sucks fluid from in these little bitty veins. And that fluid goes up through the pump to be pushed out, pumped out, whatever you want to call it. It goes travel throughout the valve body and throughout its uh, intended ports, okay? First gear, clutch pack, things like that. But if it's stopped up, yes, you can have some problems. And it will get stopped up from wearable items inside the transmission, such as a torque converter. That is a wearable item, guys. Your torque converter can fail before your clutch packs goes out. I had a guy today asking me about uh, that TCC solenoid, that video I put out. Watch this video right here. He, uh, he replaced his solenoid, and he's having a hard time <laughs> grasping and understanding why his torque converter can go out so early. They can go out from different aspects, guys. Uh, they can... Remember, guys, it's, not, it's a big clutch pack inside of a torque converter. There's clutches inside a torque converter. Those clutches will wear out over time. If lockup is not occurring when it's supposed to or it's not holding when it's supposed to, yes, the computer will sense that and maybe throw a P0740. All right? Yes. Uh, 
Now, it was weird, and he said this also, and I can contest to this. You will not have no transmission symptoms or problems such as shifting erratic or anything like that. It's just that pesky check engine light with P074 oil. Yes, that's what will happen, guys. He went in and replaced the... Uh, he went in and replaced the TCC solenoid. Where's my solenoid? Let me show y'all what I'm talking about since I'm on this topic. All right, guys. So here's the solenoid I'm talking about. He went in and replaced this. Uh, this is not that bad, guys. I'll show you how to gain access to this in that video I directed you to. Uh, because this is called a torque converter clutch solenoid. And the fault code he's having was torque converter clutch circuit. <laughs> so naturally, one would think... This is your problem. And you know what's weird? If you look on the diagnostic, I try to scroll some by here on this screen. You look at diagnostics, this is not even a possible cause. This is not even included in possible causes. All right? In fact, they don't they don't even direct you to test this. But yet it's called a TCC solenoid and the fault code is named TCC clutch circuit. Yes, guys, it's a big old waste of time. Stop doing this. But I want to focus on the matter in hand. Um Please, guys, <laughs> in order to help prolong the life of your transmission, one must service it during a uh, regular change interval. Go in and replace the filter. Uh-uh, I ain't talking about draining refill. I ain't talking about flush. I'm talking about get in this pan because I'm going to clean all this out and replace this filter. All right, guys, that's all I have, man. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, guys, this is ZF 8 HP transmission found in a Dodge Challenger rear wheel drive vehicle. Nothing to it, nothing special about it. I don't know why the world is panicking over feel for life. Guys, this is simple to remove your pan and essentially replace your pan because the filter is integrated. Now, look at the condition of that fluid. This car has 120,000 miles. You're telling me you guys are out there willing to leave this in your transmission for the remaining of its life? This is not feel for life, guys. That filter, you see how trash that filter is? There's a good picture of that filter. That is called contamination, guys. That contamination comes from normal wear and tear in a transmission, okay? The torque converter is coming apart over time. Over time, everything in this transmission will wear. So that debris has to go somewhere. It will eventually end up in your transmission filter, guys. You need to replace this. ZF said every 60,000 miles, I go a good 80 and it should be good. But look at that. Service your transmission, guys, in order to make your transmission last longer.